What is going on YouTube? Hey, I'm back making another brand new crypto TV episode. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about why I bought back into XRP as I do believe prices are starting to head back up. More importantly, we're also going to be covering Ethereum, Bitcoin, XLM, as well as the S&P 500. As you guys know, we do a different cryptocurrency here on the channel every single week with your guys' help. And on that note, we're still doing our Bitcoin uh, crypto display giveaway, as you can see here on the screen. All you have to do to enter to win one of these is just comment your favorite cryptocurrency down in the comment section below as well as comment subscribed i will be checking so you have to have subscribed or you won't win one of these we're going to be doing the drawing this saturday so definitely stay tuned for saturday's episode um but, yeah, but more importantly we're going to be taking a look uh at all these major cryptocurrencies discussing why i actually bought into xrp specifically as it looks like some of these cryptocurrencies have actually hit the bottom ever so slightly prices actually closed yesterday at a fairly nice level and there's a good chance that we're going to start to see a reversal back up for a small opportunity that's a moderate trade not necessarily conservative but a moderate trade to swing it back to the upside also guys today's video is sponsored by best change so if you're curious about what's the best opportunity to actually change cryptocurrencies uh, you know not necessarily on an exchange directly but you can use best change which is basically like a Wikipedia of all things cryptocurrency let's say you want to change uh, XRP into Shiba in your XRP into I don't know XLM and you don't have that many options or you're trying to find an exchange where you can actually turn Bitcoin into XRP as we know there aren't that many best change actually compares all that stuff and allows you the easiest method and the cheapest method to do so so if you want a little bit more information definitely make sure to stick around to the end of the video as we'll be talking about best change then otherwise if you guys are new to the channel definitely make sure to subscribe turn on post notifications leave a giant thumbs up as this does help support the youtube algorithm remember to join us over at discord as we have over 1400 active community members All right, guys, as you can see, we are on the top 10 cryptocurrencies. Everything seems to be doing okay. We're up about 2.8%. Markets really aren't moving as heavily as we had anticipated. But for the most part, we are starting to what appears like we hit the bottom and reverse back to the upside. So Lana is probably one of the cryptos that is doing really well, up 18.8%. Everything else is pretty much just in a consolidative state. But what I want to show you guys, which is really important to me, is basically these major cryptocurrencies. They're showing a lot of signs that indicated reversals back to the upside that we might have hit a bottom and I want to explain why I actually bought into XRP as I do think we are going to slightly head back up to the upside so I just want to flash through all these cryptocurrencies here if this is XRP for you guys uh, that haven't noticed uh, we do have Ethereum right here just want to get rid of these we have Bitcoin right here oh this is going to keep popping up we have XLM and then we have the S&P 500. So really what I want to look at is all these cryptocurrencies. There's a lot of signs that I saw that were referencing bullish reversals to the upside that we might have hit the bottom. For XRP to start, you can see on the moving average or on the MACD right here, we got very close to retesting our bottom support, if not seeing a bearish cross. But we actually look like we're probably going to bounce off of here and swing back to the upside, which is good news. The other things we have to look at is on the RSI, we look really you know we're not undervalued but we're getting really close to being so we're trading at 40 on the rsi which gives us plenty of room to actually start to head back up which was another reason which is why i bought back in but more importantly yesterday's candle closing that was the biggest uh you know thing for me it was where are we going to be closing yesterday's candle yesterday we made a video talking about how we're going to be looking for an opportunity to buy back into this market and today i've actually managed to do so this morning so we've been looking at these coins for quite some time now we haven't bought into XRP or any of these other cryptocurrencies for quite some time, but I've just decided to do so as of this morning. Obviously, we set up a stop loss just in case we decide to reverse back down and close the daily candle below our support levels, which you could probably pin at maybe... Uh, if you're going to play uh, fairly moderate, maybe 80 cents right there, because we're going to see wicks as we're doing right now. We are kind of hitting our resistance levels, but I'm really not too worried. All in all, we are, you know, we did close the candle above our moving average, which gave me enough reason to believe with the other indicators on the other cryptocurrencies that I'm going to show you enough reason to believe that we're probably going to swing back up to at least retest a dollar here. So maybe it's going to be about a 15 cent jump. Maybe it's going to be about a 20 cent jump. Regardless, I do believe we're going to see that reverse 
reversal and it is starting to play out as I as I'm speaking. So ultimately, you can see we do have this uptrend here that's been forming on XRP since January, end of January of 2021. And since then, we've been using this as an uptrend for quite some time now, holding ourselves above here, allowing ourselves to, you know, swing up. We did see major movements here, but it's ultimately starting to form a big symmetrical triangle. Prices had resistance levels at the downtrend. And ultimately, we did break through our slight support that we drew on, which really isn't that all that much uh, relevant. We do have a small downtrend right here. Again, not all that relevant, but you can see it as it's forming. Ultimately, we are starting to come back down. Prices retested bottom support. We did actually break through it, but we wicked all the way back up and closed above the uptrend here. So that was enough reason to me to buy back into this market, anticipating a target move that could swing us up to the moving average to retest it closer to about a dollar to a dollar and a cent maybe, uh, but closer to a move, the moving average here. So about a 15 cent jump is really what I'm looking for for XRP. Now, it wasn't just XRP that I looked at that made me want to jump in. I looked at all these cryptocurrencies as a whole, picked XRP, which I thought had the most potential to actually continue to correct to the upside. But I want to show you guys the other indicators that I did use on the other cryptocurrencies that also led to my decision. Now, it's not just XRP you could have bought into. It's pretty much all these cryptocurrencies as the market as a whole, I believe is going to start to reverse upwards. For Ethereum, um, the main reason why I decided to buy in uh, was basically not only because this moving average right here. Let's see the MACD. I'm actually curious. I don't believe the MACD broke through. Yeah, the MACD didn't break through just yet. The goal, once again, just like I said on XRP, is for it to retest here and start to reverse back upwards. I do believe that's going to actually happen. But the big reason why I bought into XRP was based on these other cryptocurrencies indicators. Now, for X, for Ethereum, it was us coming all the way back down. We saw a pretty substantial drop. And usually, I didn't think it was going to continue to correct to the downside. We closed. We actually dropped almost 20%, you know, and uh, starting, I'd say, back on June 3rd and closing uh, yesterday at June 8th. So we did see a big reversal that actually happened within the cryptocurrencies, but it's managed to actually regain support at the moving averages right here. We even wicked back up today. And yesterday we closed above our support levels, even though we saw prices dip below here. So that was enough reason to me to believe that this is a very strong support level and we'll probably see a slight bounce off of here as we're starting to already see reversal candles forming. It should allow us to swing back up we could even go all the way up to $2,800 again, if not $2,900. That's about a $400 jump in the price. So Ethereum might be another opportunity, but personally for me, XRP was the coin that I really wanted to play around with. That's why I bought into here specifically, anticipating a run to the upside. Um, it's not too late, I don't think, to buy back in. Once again, no financial advisor. This is just my opinion on the market, and I'm just explaining what, what it is exactly that I do. So seeing that we are bottoming out on bottom support here was enough reason and evidence to potentially see a swing to the upside. It's not just Ethereum. It's all these cryptocurrencies that are showing this movement. Bitcoin, as we've discussed in the past, uh, we did have this uptrend here that did look really nice. Um, unfortunately, we broke through it yesterday, but I wasn't using that as my main indicator. Reason being is it yes we did use it for quite some time yes we did you know extend ourselves away from here the main reason i bought into it was not because we broke below this uptrend here uh, which was unfortunate i mainly found indicators at bottom support uh, a little bit stronger than the uptrend actually was holding so we're using 30k and 40k as supports and resistance levels and so our price floor and price ceiling so we knew that if we broke through $40,000, there's a big chance we'll see a swing that could swing us up to $48,000, but an $8,000 run. Fortunately, we've tried to retest 40K multiple times now, and we've had no luck, and we've actually broken downward since then. Uh, we do have a support at $30,000, which you can see has started and confirmed earlier back in the beginning of, of 2021 in January. And you can see we've retested this multiple times and eventually broke through and corrected to the upside. Now, what I'm seeing now is us retesting this bottom support as of yesterday. We actually closed at a high of 30, like 33,587. And we're actually starting to reverse back upwards again. But the fact that yesterday actually retested bottom support here at 30K and reversed upwards was another major sign for me to take the you know opportunity to buy back into XRP and swing it up. Could you have bought into Bitcoin as well? Yeah, sure. There's nothing wrong with that, as I do believe Bitcoin is going to lead the way as well to either retesting 37,000 or actually retesting 40K. So I like to buy in at indicators, you know, support levels, resistances. I don't like to just buy in when the price is changing in the middle. Uh, that's pretty much a hit or miss for correcting to the downside or the upside. It's more of that, you know, aggressive style of trading. That's not for me. 
conservative and I'm slowly switching to moderate is really where I am, especially when we're starting to see uh, a lot more consolidation within these markets. Uh, my main concern, obviously, is I'm hyper focused on the relative strength indicator for uh, Bitcoin. You can see that we've had retested these downtrends or this resistance uh, before. And every time we do so, we correct. It seems like yes, or the past couple of days back on the third, we retested it and reversed it lower. Uh, but you can see it seems like we're regaining our conscious you know, levels and starting to reverse back up. So really what I'm waiting for, I need to see prices. The only time we're going to actually see a bullish break is if we can close above this stupid resistance level and start to head up higher. If we don't break that resistance level, it's unfortunately just going to send us back to the upside or back to the downside. It's just going to keep pinging us and reversing us to the downside. And if we break 30K, it's game on for a bear market. And I don't want to, you know, spread any FUD, but below 30K, there's nothing good down there. So, I mean, yeah, we could short the market, but overall people are going to be leaving and that's not necessarily something we want. So as long as we can stay above and maintain 30K, hopefully we'll be able to regain some volume and push ourselves back up to $40,000 and hopefully breach a prior high, um, which I know is still a long shot away. We have a ton of time to get there and a ton of resistance and obstacles in the way, but that's the goal is to slowly drive ourselves up, close below 40K, and we'll probably have a pretty fair chance of getting back into uh, all-time highs or at least higher than 30 or $40,000. That's really what I'm waiting for. As for XLM, um, we also saw a bounce off support. We discussed that we drew support levels that started back in the beginning of January as well. Uh, we had, what is this, a bearish cross? It actually looks fairly bearish on here. Yeah, we actually never crossed over. So, okay, that's not really too much to worry about. But ultimately, we hit bottom supports here and everything seemed to have been starting to reverse back upwards. Really, everything was starting to hit its bottom support levels and it was an indication that I thought would start to swing us back up. So everything on XRP, on Ethereum, on Bitcoin, everything started to look like a good opportunity to you know, leverage it to the upside. We can obviously leverage it, put in our stop losses, God forbid markets start to reverse downwards. At least we're prepared and covered. You know, and there is risk involved when playing these trades out, especially here, which is definitely more of a moderate style of trade. So we have to just play the devil's advocate and consider the possibilities of reversing lower. We know that if any point Tonight, we close this daily candle below our uptrend here. We're going to short the market. There's a good chance we'll reverse it lower. Uh, lastly, looking at the S&P 500, another day of consolidation. I'm not worried about this consolidation. Yes, I understand it's entirely annoying, but we are seeing this sideways movement. It's not necessarily something I enjoy seeing all the time, but it would be referencing uh, possibilities of lowering ourselves on the relative strength indicator and giving us enough support to eventually pop back up. Otherwise, guys, I do want to talk about best change. All right, guys. So as you know, trading in the US has become quite difficult on exchanges. But did you know there is a Wikipedia like search engine out there that compares all the exchanges together? So Best Change is a platform where you can buy and sell crypto and fiat. Best Change monitors exchange rates in several hundred reliable exchangers and equips you with all the information that you need to select the best exchanger to transfer your money. They offer the best exchange rates on their table that shows the best exchanges for the, you know, the 20 most popular with directions and the best rates on top. All the relevant information is available in icons next to the exchanger name and columns to its right. So in order to exchange, you simply select the exchange direction on the panel on the left, the table lists popular tabs, and then select the exchanger out of this list of trusted and reliable ones. You can exchange e-currencies on exchanges, but the process can be somewhat difficult for newbies due to exchanges interface and required verification. Also, some exchanges lack a lot of e-currencies and rare tokens that pushes users uh, to search for exchangers that solve it, their issues. However, online, there are a lot of fraudulent exchanges out there that use, you know, you got to use your own caution. And the solution basically is best change. And what they've done is instead of you just blindly finding, you know, your own exchange out there, Best Change actually compares the most reputable ones they offer. So bestchange.com is a directory of selected, trusted, and reliable exchanges. On their website, you can find out where you can buy, sell, exchange dozens of popular cryptocurrencies and e-currencies, or purchase those with debit or credit cards or various payment systems. Their monitor is easy to use, so no special knowledge or skills are needed for this intuitive interface. They offer a large choice of trusted exchangers, 250 plus exchanges out there. Uh, to be exact, they offer a convenient functionality allowing choosing of each exchange. 
icons informing about special conditions of an exchange, information page of the exchange, reviews left by real customers. This is even possible to exchange without verification and at good rates, which is pretty cool as well. A lot of KYC is needed nowadays. You don't actually need that on, uh, you know, bestchange.com. So their monitor has cryptocurrencies, including all coins and stable coins, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Monero, Litecoin, Tether, uh, Pax, PIX, and USDC, which is a uh, you know a stable coin. E-payment systems like PayPal, Skrill, Advanced Cash, Fiat, as we know, bank wires, Visa, and Mastercard are all you know options available. They even have options to set up notifications to track when some of the exchanges offer desired exchange rates, and that has the necessary amount of reserves. They also offer a cool converter on the bottom of the site where you can convert currencies to see the rates before you actually make your exchange. And Best Change constantly queries dozens of reliable and trusted e-money exchange services out there to obtain the most decent changes in the exchange rates, determine trends on the e-currency exchange market, and reflect them in easy to read chart and tables. The monitor updates exchange rates uh, at a five to eight second interval, which is sufficient for informing users about the smallest fluctuations on the e-currency exchange market and letting them make educated decisions about the right moment for converting their funds. The system also features a convenient rate history module that allows you to analyze and visualize market trends over a period of one hour to one year. Shares of specific currencies, shares of specific exchanges, as well as reserves of national virtual currencies. If the exchanger you selected does not have enough currency or the necessary type or their rate you know, is higher than ones that you were hoping for, you can configure the site to send a notification to your email or telegram where or one of both of your conditions are met. Best Change was created with security in mind as well, which means that they pay the utmost attention to the reputation and reliability of their e-currency exchanges that they work with. All of them have been thoroughly selected to offer the highest level of service and customer support, so dealing with them is extremely reliable. For instance, services working with web money must have a very high BL to be included in their list of premium e-currency exchangers. Since its foundation 13 years ago, BestChange has become a reliable partner for dozens of e-currency exchangers and a reliable tool for thousands of users worldwide looking for a fast, hassle-free monitor of virtual currencies. If your business involves multi-currency payments that need to be cross-converted on a regular basis, make sure to bookmark their site. It will help you avoid unnecessary losses during conversion and offer a one-stop currency exchange experience. Once again, huge shout out to Best Change for sponsoring today's episode. Make sure to comment, subscribe, and I will see you in tomorrow's episode. Peace.